In traditional printing, the ink is absorbed by the paper. In narrow web printing, we need curing or hardening in order to get the ink to dry and to obtain the production speeds that we want. This is done by exposing the printed matter to UV light after it has passed through each unit, just as dentists do when you have a filling. Traditionally, this is done with mercury-based UV lights, but over the last few years, LED technology has entered the scene. My name is Berina Kasapovic and I work as a research and development engineer at Flint Group headquarters in Sweden. Using UV LED for curing has really been a game changer. It just has so many benefits compared to old school mercury lights. First, the environmental aspect is obvious. Mercury is poisonous as we all know and the less we use of it the better it is. A UV LED lamp also uses a fraction of the energy of a mercury based system. That saves money and climate. Plus, UV LED lamps run for a much longer time and with 100% full power until they go out. The cost per print is much lower than with mercury. The problem has been that most inks only react to one kind of UV light. So they react with either uh, UV mercury light or UV LED light. We at Flint Group realized that this is the obstacle for our customers not to make the switch to UV LED. Switching all lamps in all units at one time would be a waste of money by throwing away fully functioning lamps and a very large investment in buying new ones. And if they would only change lamps in one press, they would need to have two complete sets of inks, tying up a lot of capital. So what could we do as ink producers to solve this problem? As UV LED would be good for our customers' business, we wanted to do everything we could to make the switch easier. We started researching the chemical aspects from ground level and try to see if we somehow could create inks that would be equally good for both methods. And we were very successful. Today we have a full program of what we call dual cure inks. This is inks that can be used regardless of curing method. This not only removes the need for having two sets of inks, it also makes it possible for the printers to switch to UV LED one unit at a time. You can have both kinds in one press. And this makes it possible for them to make a transition that they might have wanted to do for a longer period, but have been financially prohibited to make. I see this as a perfect example of how we at R&D can create solutions that reach much further than people might realize, from the lab to the balance sheet, so to say. That's how we work. Mm -hmm.